I have a OnePlus Nord N200 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer, transfer photos and videos directly to your Windows computer, PC, or laptop, all right, using the uh, charging cable. Okay, so first thing, go ahead and grab your charging cable. Put the USB-A into your Windows computer. USB port right there. Now go ahead and grab your N200, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Now you should hear something on your com your computer, okay? Now from here, we're going to go ahead and log in. So let me go ahead and log in right now. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the File Explorer. It looks like a little folder like that in your Windows computer, like right down there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, okay? Now what I got to do is I'm going to look under... PC and I want to look for my phone. Now the thing is, it's not going to show up right now. A lot of you guys are probably stuck on that. And the reason is because there's a second step that you need to do. Okay, you need to go ahead and scroll down notifications. And now because my phone is plugged into my computer, you can see it says Android system charging this device via USB. So what you want to do is go ahead and tap on that. And then it says uh, charging via USB, tap for more options. So you want to tap it again. Now this will pop up and you can see that where we are um, is checked with no data transfer. What you want to do is tap up here, file transfer, okay? And as soon as I do that, file transfer ready. Oh, something just happened. I just heard something on my computer. Now what you want to do is just go to your computer and then look under, look under PC. Now the thing is, it doesn't show up as N200. Mine shows up as DE2117. So anyway, what I want to do is click on that, and then you want to go ahead and click on internal shared storage, double click on that, and then all your photos and videos would be under the DCIM folder, so let's double click on that, and then we're going to double click on camera. Now you can see I have some uh, photos and videos. Now you know that there are photos if it says uh, J, JPG file, JPEG file. I know it's a video if it says vid, so I got one, two, I have two videos on here and the rest are photos. Now from here, if I want to go ahead and save it to my Windows computer, it's very simple. What I can do is just drag and drop it onto my desktop if I wish, like that. But what I typically do is, let me delete that. I'll make a new folder on my desktop. I'll right click, I'll go down to new, and I go to folder, and I'll just call this one N200. And now what I do, you can go ahead and select whatever one you want to put in that folder, or you can do the whole shebang, okay? You can highlight everything like this, and then we can drag and drop into that new folder I just made called N200. Drop it in here, give it one second here. It's transferring everything over there. Okay, now I can go ahead and close this out. I can double click my N200 folder here, open it up, and all my photos and videos are on here now. Okay, I can go ahead and unplug my phone, just like that, and then there you go, everything is on here. Now I can go ahead and email these, or I can uh, edit these uh, photos and videos and whatnot. So pretty simple, any questions or issues, just uh, comment below, all right? Good luck, guys.